Hello and welcome to Psychic Moon Tarot Reading and today we are doing general messages for you. What you need to hear, what is the message that is supposed to reach you at this moment in your life, okay? So we have three piles and I'm using my Lenormand deck to, uh, you know, pick three piles for you. So pile number one is Mountain. Pile number two is tree and pile number three is sight. Okay, the sickle or the sight. So those are the three piles. Let me hold them for you so that you can have a clear look. Pile number one is this mountain, pile number two is the tree, and pile number three is the site, okay? So take your time and see which is the one that uh, you want to listen to, which is the one that is attracting you. That is probably your, your pile, okay? The description box will have the timestamp so that you can go directly to the pile that you uh, want to listen to, okay? You can choose to listen to the entire reading and see uh, what resonates with you, take what resonates and leave the rest. Or you can listen to a specific pile and um, see if those messages relate to you. Okay, so that is the introduction for this video. Let's move ahead and start with pile number one, which is the mountain card. So pile number one, whoever chose uh, the mountain card, let's see what you need to hear now. What is your current situation, pile number one, and what is it that you need to hear? What is your current situation and what you need to hear? You are vibrating on a very, very happy, positive, bright energy. Okay, I see a lot of positivity in you, a lot of happiness, a lot of brightness, a lot of chirpiness. You are feeling um, really motivated. You are feeling very, very happy about your life, whatever is happening around you. You are very, very motivated. Okay, you feel like a child. There is a childlike energy in you. So if you relate to this energy, pile number one, this is your reading. If you don't, then probably it's a different pile that you need to listen to. Okay, so moving ahead, pile number one, if that is your energy, what do you need to hear right now? Queen of Wands, Knight of Swords, and Four of Cups. I see a uh, pile number one that a fire sign is going to approach you to offer you something. This is regarding a work situation. Okay, so I see that uh, a lady a uh, very, very uh, authoritative, uh, very, very powerful woman heading into your life. And this is coming fast, okay? This is like a quick energy. This is like a fast energy. You probably wouldn't have time to think about this. This woman is, enter, uh, is coming into your energy. This woman is coming to you uh, with an offer, okay? And... Uh, I see that you will be not very sure about this offer, but the universe is trying to push you to accept this offer because this, this offer has some kind of potential for you to grow, okay? This offer has some kind of potential to make you famous. This offer has some kind of potential to, uh, you know, be known in a large crowd, to be known by a huge number of people maybe, okay? This woman is offering you an opportunity to be known for what you do so probably you will uh you know put it aside in the beginning okay as this woman approaches you and this is going to come very sudden okay this person is just going to call you suddenly and tell you blah 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 this is going this is what i am offering you are you interested and you are supposed to act quick but I see that probably you will be taking your time and the universe is trying to tell you that please reconsider it because this has a lot of potential for you to grow. 
and attract the fame and recognition that you are looking after in your career. Okay. So I see that you are vibrating in this energy. You are shining bright. What you are doing is, you know, getting uh, acknowledged by people, is getting noticed by people. And that's how this person uh, found you. Probably this person found you on social media and tried to call you to collab with you or something like that. But you are reconsidering or you are, you know, uh, you have put it aside and not really uh, considering it. And your advice is to really really think about it and uh take it into consideration okay pile number one that was your reading if uh that resonated let me know in the comment section and i will love to read your comments and respond back to you so moving on pile number two so pile number two whoever chose this card the tree let's find out what is your current energy and what is it that you need to hear right now Pile number two, what is your current energy? What is your current energy, pile number two? Pile number two, your current energy is that you are dealing with your demons, you are dealing with your fears, you are fighting hard to, you know, come across as someone who is strong, who is, uh, who is bold, and who takes control of the situations, okay? You are really fighting hard with your patience, okay? You are being very, very patient no matter how difficult situations are around you. You are handling things with a lot of calm and patience. So if this is your uh, current energy, if this is what you relate to at this moment, then this reading is for you, pile number two. If it doesn't, probably this is not your pile and you need to listen to some other pile or probably this reading is not for you okay so pile number two let's find out what is your message you're dealing with something difficult to handle you're dealing with a tough situation okay knight of cups something good is happening your way something nice is happening you are called to make a decision on something that you are uh you know suppressing Pile number two, I see that you are called to walk your honest path. You are called to uh, move on that path that is aligned to your heart space. Something that is that you relate to from the core of your heart. Something that is, uh, you know, that makes your soul sing. You are, uh, you know, guided. The angels, your spirit guides and the universe is guiding you to make a bold decision to move away from stagnancy, to move away from something that is not working out to, for you in a new way, in a new direction that is always uh, your thing, something that you always want to do, something that uh, always, uh, uh, you know, inspired you, something that always sparked, uh, you know, fire of creativity in you. You are advised to take a decision regarding that situation if you are in a difficult situation if you are in a difficult relationship for example i see that the universe is guiding you to take a bold decision leave what is stagnant and move away okay do go do your own thing do not uh, sit and sulk about things that are not working the moment you uh, you know shift your energy from what is not working to you yourself to nurturing yourself to do what you like to you know, you shift your focus on creating something new that is, uh, you know, uh, igniting your heart space. Everything comes into place. Okay, everything sorts them, sorts it, uh, everything sorts itself out on its own. So the universe, the cosmos is advising you to move a step ahead in the direction of what you want to do. Okay, listen to your heart and do what you really, really want to do. You need to take a bold decision. You need to stop what is not working out for you. Okay. So I say that pile number two, uh, whatever your situation is, is definitely dealing with a difficult situation. And uh, if you're hanging between two difficult uh, you know, choices, if you have two choices and you don't know which one to make, the difficult one is the right choice for you. Okay. It's a hint. So if you have two choices like, uh, should I stay in this job and be financially stable no matter how difficult things get or should I quit 
and honor myself and do what I am called to do. So the, the, the difficult one is the right choice. The difficult one is quit the job, do what honors your soul and move in that direction. So that is an example. Don't take my words. Uh, it's just an example. I'm just channeling. So see which way your options way which which both what what sides are open to you what options are open to you and i see that the difficult option that you're trying to negate is the right path ahead that is your guidance pile number two so let's move to pile number three so pile number three whoever chose this card the scythe let's find out what is your current energy and what you need to know right now what is your current energy? File number three. What is your current energy and what do you need to know right now? File number three. What is your current energy? Current energy is that you have cut off, cut yourself off from the social circle. You have cut yourself from the whole world. You are in the hermit mode. You are not available to people. You are not available to anyone outside of you. Okay, you are in your own private cocoon. You are uh, shut off from meeting people, from uh, having a conversation with strangers. You are not in that mode. You are like totally, totally closed socially. You are not in that mode to, uh, you know, open up to anyone else. You are very much comfortable within yourself. Probably you are spending all your time and energy researching something finding your own soul purpose finding answers to deeper meanings in life something of that sort so you are on a very very individual soul solitude a path of solitude okay you have uh, embraced the path of solitude if this is your energy pile number three this is your reading if not if this is not your energy if you uh, do not relate to it at this moment then this is probably not your reading so I would recommend you to listen to some other pile or go check out some other reading of mine. Okay. So pile number three, what messages do you need to hear? What is uh, what is it that uh, you need to hear? Eight of Swords. Pile number three, Six of Cups. I see that you are stuck in the past. You need to come out of your past. Pile number three. Okay. You have you have stuck you have you yourself have trapped yourself in the past some kind of nostalgia has trapped you some kind of a nostalgic event has trapped you you are think you're replaying it over and over in your mind and you're feeling trapped about it okay you are not able to escape this specific situation that has happened in the past or you have not been able to come out of a situation that happened in the past and uh, you feel trapped okay you need to take a bold decision you need to uh, you need to you know do justice to yourself i see for some it could be a situation where something happened and you couldn't stand for yourself you couldn't take you couldn't uh, you know uh, do justice for yourself and that's why you have a lot of regret that why didn't I say this or why didn't I do this to honor myself? And that, uh, you know, feeling of guilt makes you uh, think of this past situation over and over again. There is a lot of guilt, like why did you do that or why didn't you do that? So pile number three, I see that you need to free yourself from this feeling. You need to, uh, you know, heal yourself from what has happened. You need to free yourself from this cycle of uh, nostalgia that you were stuck in this is not letting you move forward this is making you trapped this is making you socially unavailable this is you know uh, hampering your social life this is hampering your quality of life okay you need to do justice to yourself now do not think of what happened in the past do not go in the past and try and crib about why didn't I do justice to myself then it's about now you need to do justice to yourself now pile number three uh, the present is what matters the past is over let go of the past okay if you are dwelling in the past constantly you are not doing justice to yourself at this very present moment 
okay you need to come out of this feeling and you need to uh, honor yourself do justice to yourself by doing what is best for you okay taking care of you loving yourself uh, be being generous to yourself being kind to yourself okay that is your message you need to be kind to yourself like how you would be kind to any other soul any other a uh, sweet soul that you see around you any other child how will you handle a child how will you be with a child that's how exactly you need to be with yourself you need to be very soft kind and warm to yourself you need to nurture yourself okay so that is the guidance for you pile number 3 i hope this was helpful and let me know in the comment section if it resonated and i would love to uh, read your comments and respond back I will see you very soon in the, in another pickup I'll reading tomorrow till then take care bye bye